Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're having a little comparison between the sniper rifles in Battlefield 2042 and we're gonna take a look at their TTK and rank them based off of that. If you didn't know, TTK stands for time to kill. It's a solid indicator to compare weapons and see how fast they can basically kill an enemy and for sniper rifles it kind of matters. Not as much as other weapon classes like assault rifles or even SMGs but it plays a role. Definitely. My target distance is below 300 meters, which is a decent number when it comes to sniper rifles, and I believe it's going to keep the comparison fair and square. Apart from that, I'll give you the best setup possible for that weapon so you can go ahead and try it out yourselves. So, without further ado, guys, let's get things started. So, we have five sniper rifles, and at number five, we've got the DXR 1. DXR is hands down my favorite sniper rifle, and it's the game's most accurate sniper rifle because the bullet drop is the least possible. But that comes at a cost, and the cost is speed. It's accurate, but slow. The TTK for DXR is 1500 milliseconds, and considering we've got an accurate weapon, some might argue that it doesn't really matter, but like it or not, at least in close range, and sometimes in long range, it does. You see, oftentimes you go against a sniper, and you feel overwhelmed by them. Like they are firing at you faster, and that makes you have to move a lot, and takes away your ability to respond accordingly. That's an obvious indicator of a faster firing sniper rifle. So like it or not, this plays a role. Now looking at the setup for the DXR1, you can't go with the extended barrel because it definitely lowers that TTK, so we go with factory barrel here. You always need a bipod on any sniper rifle and that's a must, but for DXR, a bipod is all you've got, so no choices around the barrel. For ammo, the best TTK is achieved by the standard issue rounds, so you gotta go for standard issue extended, then standard issue, and then high power to be able to hit the fastest TTK possible. Next up, and for weapon sights, I've always preferred the BKS 8X for general purposes and a long shot 12X for long range shooting. So with all that said, the setup should look like this. Moving on to number 4, we've got the NTW-50. This weapon, based on what it is, isn't a sniper rifle made for personnel. It's an anti-material sniper rifle and it's built for disabling light armored vehicles and enemy fortifications, basically. Because of that, it's chambered in 12.5mm 50 caliber rounds, which is more than enough to take care of a human target. As a result, the NTW can kill an enemy with one bullet in under 100 meters. The TTK on this thing is 1428.5 milliseconds, which is slightly faster than the DXR and the one shot kill 50 caliber round is definitely key here. Otherwise, there would be no way on earth for this weapon to be able to be faster than the DXR. One thing that makes the NTW shine is the ability to engage with armored vehicles as well. For example, you can deal something around 13 damage to a wildcat or a brawler per bullet, which is a lot to be honest, and that's a gift other sniper rifles don't have. As for the setup, the muzzle and underbarrel should remain stuck since you don't have any choices there. For ammo, go for anti-material and then anti-material high power, because the high power version deals less damage to infantry, and that's not something you want to experience. Lastly, for weapon sights, I prefer the Revan 4X and the 2038 Thermal, and the setup should be ready to roll. At number 3 we've got the Gold Sniper Magnum. Based on my experience, the Gold Magnum is a faster firing version of the SWS-10. The weapon is versatile, it's fast firing, the bullet drop is decent, and all in all, it really is a capable weapon. TTK is 1395 milliseconds. Also, the Gold Magnum is a vault weapon from Bad Company 2, and it's really impressive that it's still faster than two main game weapons. It's also a pretty iconic weapon as well, especially for the old fans of the franchise, even Battlefield 4 players. The Gold Magnum is a part of history in battle. Field. For the setup, however, it's really unfortunate, but as a vault weapon, the choices are limited. We go for factory barrel and a bipod, then for ammo, go for standard issue extended, and then standard issue rounds. Lastly, for weapon sights, BKS 8x and a long shot 12x is the way to go, and here's how the setup should look like. At number two, we've got the almighty SWS 10. I've always said it, and I'll say it again. The reason why SWS is so popular in 2042 is because it's a middle line for every quality a sniper rifle can offer. It's fast, but not the fastest. It's accurate, but not the most accurate. It's got a low bullet drop, but not the lowest, and even in terms of muzzle velocity, it's decent, but not the fastest. The TTK is 1053 milliseconds, which is a massive jump from Gold Magnum. The difference is 342 milliseconds, which is just insane. The reason why this weapon can be that quicker lies in the shortened barrel, which makes it a faster weapon with more fire rate, and that's how you win. For the setup, as I said it before, the shortened barrel is the way to go. For underbarrel, things get a little bit complicated. First of all, you need to go for the BCG light grip. This 
this one gives you more ADS accuracy and less hip fire accuracy. And for a sniper rifle, the only thing you don't need is hip fire. Then you go for Master Key, which is an underbarrel shotgun and it's a powerful one. As a sniper, long range is the comfort zone and it's close range that can hurt you most. Well, the SWS is the only sniper rifle that has a solution for that. And then you will need a bipod as well. For ammo, the TTK on high power and standard issue is exactly the same, but since the high power gives you more muzzle velocity, which means less bullet drop, I prefer to go for that first, then standard issue extended, and then standard issue. Lastly, for weapon sights, BKS 8X and Longshot 12X should do the trick, and there goes the setup. And finally, at number one, we've got the XCE bar, which is a very underrated sniper rifle, to be honest. The TTK is 1000 milliseconds, which is faster than the SWS by a fraction of a second, but that's just enough for this list to have a champion. Honestly, you don't really come across people playing this weapon so often. The reason for that is probably the slow muzzle velocity and like higher bullet drop. But believe it or not, with the right attachments, this weapon can reach SWS levels of accuracy, and I mean it when I say it. It's a bolt action sniper rifle, but it really gives you the speed of an automatic sniper rifle with the bolt action accuracy. Now for the setup, which is a very important part of this weapon, we go for tactical compensator to get some more accuracy. It decreases recoil control, which literally means nothing for sniper rifles in 2042. For underbarrel, BCG light grip is great, and you should pair it with a bite pod. For ammo, high power, subsonic, and standard issue all have the same TTK, but high power is just better for sniper rifles. Then go for standard issue extended, and then standard issue. Lastly, BKS 8X and a long shot 12X for this weapon is the the way to go and that should be the setup you need. With all that said guys, we've ranked all the sniper rifles in Battlefield 2042 by their TTK. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful. Here is also a small table to compare the weapons side by side and take a look at how big the differences are. I will make the same video for secondary weapons as well and as promised because I know you guys wanted to see that as well. Thank you all guys for watching and until next time, stay cool.